Hi guys, okay, carrying on from the last vlog where I left off. Um, sorry if the place is a bit of a tip, just got back from Aspen about an hour or so ago, maybe two hours ago, I've just thrown on a face of makeup. So first thing on the agenda is I am going to Stuart Parvin's to try on my new suit for my event with Thomas Sabo. And then I'm going to get my hair done, I can't wait. I've been desperate to get my hair done for ages. I just want it cut really short. I want it bleached and beautified and all that. So that's where I'm going now. Oh my gosh, guys, look, look at this color. So I'm just trying this on now. We're going to have a little look at some different buttons that's going to go with this. But look how classic and beautiful this is. I'm just about to try on my pink trousers. <laughs> Guys, look at this. This is so beautiful. I might even wear it just with like a bandeau bra, I think. Bandeau. And obviously I'm just going to do some slight alterations to it now to get it perfect. Just need to put some shoes with it. Look how gorgeous. Okay, we're choosing buttons. We have a few options here. So is that a gold? It is, isn't it? Yes, it's just got a gold edge. So black and gold. Oh, Very nice. Mean. Or all gold. Oh, that's so cute too. That's really smart. Or well, the final option is silver, isn't it? Silver and yes, they're just almost black. Oh. We've just got them with like a pewter edge. Oh, I don't know if I prefer this one, oh. you know. What do you think? Only because I wear so I much silver. Yeah, they're more of a neutral. I guess with these, you've really tied to the gold. Back at Larry's. I'm about to get my uh, hair coloured, as always, by Amy. Amy Fish is my one and only. And then I think Larry's going to cut it for me. And then hopefully I go home feeling a lot more glamorous than right now. <laughs> Okay, so it's all been bleached and it's all taken. And then we're gonna wash all of this out. And then we're gonna add some toner to make it like super bright white gray. And I need a cup. Okay, so I've just had it all bleached. Obviously I've taken it to my room. And now I need to tone it. I'm gonna use a redkin toner, because this is all redkin color. So redkin toner, take away that brassiness. And I'll make it super white and shiny and silver. Okay, the toner is going on. <laughs> I'm going from grassy blonde to silver grey. <laughs> Look at my hair go! Okay, so we've just washed off the toner. Looking amazing. And I think I've got a shampoo to go. Okay, I am back my guilty house. Slight change of plan. I didn't have it cut in the end. I wasn't able to get a cut with Larry today, but instead I'm going to get it cut on Tuesday. But at least my roots and the colour is looking amazing, all thanks to Amy. So I got all of that done. So super, super happy. And I just got home to Alex cooking dinner. So um, yeah, I'm just going to unpack my bags. Ooh, my new poof arrived. Oh, this is so cute. So I ordered this new little footstool from sofa.com and this is in the shade Lychee. I think you'll be able to see it better actually in tomorrow's light because it's a little bit more of a, a lighter pink finished velvet. But how cute is that? I, just, I liked how it was like double and then with the darker colored legs. That's so cute. So I'm gonna sign off for the night so I can just go enjoy my uh, night of jet lag. We've got a very busy one tomorrow, so I'll see you then. Good morning, first day back at work. <laughs> what feels like, well of course, I mean of course I've been working for the past few weeks, but back in the office vibes. Today is a crazy, crazy day. I've got lots and lots on today. Starting off with the Joe Malone breakfast. So I've got myself ready. I'm trying not to even think about the jet lag at this point. This is my little outfit for today with my new fresh hair. It's like, wait well, no, it's more of like a burgundy bodysuit in to my little Fendi skirt. Da, 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 da. Some new Jean Vito Rossies, which I'm a little bit in love with. They're very, they feel very like 60s, which I love. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna go with my. I mean, this is, a, this is very, very pink and cute, but I think it works. So I have German breakfast to go to, and then straight off to. Oh yeah, to get my nails done. Okay, before I forget to do any vlogging, I've got a feeling I was just about to leave and not actually vlog. I'm with Amelia. She's chatting. But this is so beautiful, honestly. I feel like the Joe Malone breakfast is like the start of my Christmas every year. And it's so beautiful as always. Can you imagine? 
imagine having this. This is the actual dream. <laughs> this is you. Oh, gift set. I'm just finishing up my nails and they look beautiful. So this is Alex Steinher's new range of nail styles at Dry Bar. Look how pretty! And it so happens that Alex is right here too. Hi! Very busy. <laughs> yeah. Look how pretty! The silver foil is so beautiful. Okay, so I've just made it to Gleam and I am signing more books. Loads of you guys messaged me and asked if I was doing some more books and where you could get signed copies. So these are going to be distributed across some indie booksellers and Waterstones Online, potentially somewhere else as well. I'll leave it all down below. But yeah, you can get these now on Waterstones definitely online. If you would like a signed copy, so I'm going to be signing them just, it's going to be on this page. I need to show you guys a bit more inside this book soon. I keep meaning to do that. So, this is me for the next few hours, so I'll see you then. <laughs> okay, I am home. Alex is in the shower. I literally just got in with my, my bags. <laughs> so, Joe Malone, I think, I think this is a Christmas wreath for my door. Although, I don't know if I want to put it outside. I just got in and Alex has done the Christmas decorations for us. He's so cute. So he's gone out and bought we like to, we like to buy these little mini ferns just because we don't want a massive tree because we don't spend much time in the house so and he's decorated it all cute for me and he's put out the stockings he's so cute look how cute this is oh so i might have the christmas wreath maybe on the table maybe with some candles inside it could be kind of cute although maybe a, a fire hazard i've just got back from an amazing meeting with dior so had a fantastic meeting with them i signed 400 books so 400 books meeting with dior and i've just got back and then now i need to get ready as i am going to be going out it's the vuelio blog awards tonight previous two years i've won best uk fashion blog which is obviously amazing and it isn't like voted for they kind of do it off like statistics of and it's all it's loads of different statistics you pull together to find like the top blogs and i've won twice in a row which is absolutely amazing like insane so i'm going tonight because the previous two years i've been away and not been able to go to the awards so tonight i'm gonna go i'm um, looking forward to that so me and alex get a bit of a night out together which is fun so i need to start getting ready for that really right i'm gonna get ready for the night i'm just gonna leave my hair i think like this and just put on like a little bit more makeup over the top so many of you guys must have blonde hair or platinum hair because honestly i get so many messages per day asking what kind of colored shampoos do i use to kind of keep away the brassiness make it more platinum make it more white can i give them any tips that sort of thing so i am so so proud to say that this video is actually sponsored by red ken and red ken has been one of my favorite shampoo brands now for years and recently they launched their blondage range which i've mentioned numerous 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 times in all of my vlogs because it's pretty much the only shampoo i use because this is heavily part of my hair whitening routine so to keep away the brassiness i will use a purple shampoo every single time bear in mind i only wash my hair every like four or five days i don't wash it every single day if i did i would probably use this twice a week so bear that in mind but the good thing about these is the blondage range this is like bright purple this is like a very light lilac the idea is that it obviously like pulls out that golden brassiness makes your hair much more platinum white perfect for me because especially when i'm traveling i can just take this one product with me now whereas before i would take a shampoo and i would take my silver shampoo with me whereas now it's just two in one and it doesn't dry my hair out at all which is amazing but sometimes the purple shampoos can really dry out your hair this honestly is a lifesaver it's all i use practically now and the conditioner and then i'll often go in with like one sec let me find it i'll go in like a mega mask here's a pink one i've just used up another one oh, i've got another one back there a lot in here i mean there's a lot of red ken in this in this cupboard right now um yeah honestly i can't recommend this more so it, i am honestly just so thrilled that red ken decided to work with me on this because you guys already know that these are my one and only so it's amazing to be able to work with them in a much more collaborative way it's dreamy for me it's amazing and they are launching this box blends do it better <laughs> and it's just a full set 
You get the blonde shampoo, blonde conditioner, and you also get the 25 Benefits One United, which is an all-in-one treatment. Like you can, when you're in the shower and you wash your hair, I like to just towel dry my hair, spritz this on. If my hair's really, really dry, I'll leave it on as more of a conditioning treatment. If it's not too bad and I just want a little bit of taming and softening for the hair, I will rinse it off after two minutes. In fact, I've got one here as well. So it's 25 Benefits. I'm not gonna run through all of them because there are a lot, but just for stuff like it helps tame flyaways, it helps to kind of like condition the hair, it nourishes the hair, it helps with heat protection. It's like that like all-in-one, all-rounder amazing product. So that comes in a full box. I will leave down below links to where you can get it from. Um, it's pretty much in every single Red Ken salon, which there'll be a, like a salon finder down below. Um, and I'm pretty sure as well all the products are available on Feel Unique, which I'm also an ambassador for, so I love it when this happens. My colour is Red Ken, my toner is Red Ken, and my silver shampoo is Red Ken. It's literally like the dream hair brand. So I'm so thrilled to be able to talk about it. So like I said, I'll leave links down below for the Red Ken box if you're interested. Anyway, I'm gonna get myself ready for night. I just need to smash a face over the top of this one and I'll probably be ready. But I'm seeing this as a bit of a date night for me and Alex actually, I'm quite excited. <laughs> ready? I'm just wearing my Balmain blazer to keep me warm, but this is my dress. Can you even see this? Probably not. I'll try and show you in a minute. Um, but we're on our way to the awards. <laughs> Carly won best health and fitness blog. Yeah. So I've got three awards here in little bags. Oh, We're gonna keep Carly's. We're gonna keep Switch Carly's. Your name up. Best, best fitness blog. Best health and fitness <laughs> blog. Harrison. Doesn't go to the gym ever in Victoria. <laughs> well so, done, Carly. Oh, well done, Carly. It's like 3 a.m. Uh, 3 p.m. In no, it's America. not. Yes, Stop it thinking is. like that. It's 11 p.m. Yeah, UK but time. We're not on that time though. I am. I'm completely on that time now. You're never going to be on the right time if you keep thinking like that. You're never ever going to no, be never, on the right time. Never again. You guys don't believe me. I'll see you six hours later. Hi guys. Oh. <laughs> what am I meant to happen? Oh, hi guys. 
So, today is Sunday. Yesterday I didn't film because I spent the whole day up in Nottingham with my best mate Steph who just had her baby. So it was me and all my other friends and it was, yeah, an amazing day. But I've, I just didn't really want to film because it was just really, really special to me. I just wanted to take the time off, off working. So, but today is Sunday and this is full on work day. Well, I got up at seven this morning, desperately wanted to lie in, but I needed to work. So I got myself up. We are recording a new video for next Sunday. It's gonna be like my Christmas party looks video. I kind of do it most years. This is gonna be my party looks video. It just takes a lot of filming. So I knew we needed to start early. So you can probably hear Alex singing along to his music. Um, yeah, so just a little, little sneaky peek. This is one of my Christmas looks. How beautiful is this skirt? So pretty. <laughs> yeah, so I had at work doing that. I've just been finishing up a blog post for tomorrow on Christmas gifts. So it's a big post about some amazing beauty Christmas like gift sets this year. Have a little look at my blog, I'll leave a link down below if you'd like to see that. So I'm working on that, Alex has been working on the vlog for today, which is our Aspen vlog. So if you've not seen that already, again I'll leave it linked on the screen. We had a lot of fun in Aspen, so if you've not seen that video, go have a look. There's some really funny bits in it that Alex put in from Aspen, from like Dumb and Dumber, which we... Um, we're a big fan of so yeah and then now we're just doing this and well I say just doing this we are we have this to do and then after this we have a lot of editing of other things that we've got on we've got a lot of cool projects on right now and I hope that's all right with you guys I mean I'm sure you guys understand that December is an extremely extremely busy time of year for most people who do what I do and it's extremely good fun and there are some amazing things happening it's just extremely busy so there are a lot of cool projects that I'm working on which I hope you're enjoying lots to work on so I thought I'd quickly just check in say hey also how unbelievable are these boots? Absolutely in love with these. So beautiful. I'll leave a link down below, but if you'd like to see me style these, then you'll have to watch my video on Sunday where these will be in. <laughs> oh, right. I'm going to carry on filming and I'll check in soon. The busy day continues. We are now off to St Pancras with Tiffany Perfumes. Hello. They've got this beautiful big tree that's been put up in St Pancras. We're going to have a look at that, taking some pictures um, for an upcoming project, which is exciting. Don't think you've seen that yet, but something's coming soon. <laughs> We've done a lot of work today and this is the continuation. But it's good, it's productive, we're getting loads loads done. So I'm just in it, I'm in another outfit. I'm in this, love this jacket, look at this, oh, it's cute. And this little black dress. Again, make sure you watch Sunday's video, you can see it all in there. So um, anyway, I think our taxi's outside, so off to St Pancras. Made it to St Pancras, traffic was horrendous Sunday night. I think everyone's out Christmas shopping today. <laughs> so yeah, we're just um, taking a few pictures of the beautiful Tiffany tree. It's so cute. I think this robot is 17 foot tall. <laughs> And there's like a huge Tiffany bottle on the very, very top. It's really pretty. We're just at the Brasserie and Champagne bar. It's just upstairs overlooking the tree. And they have a special cocktail with lots of different notes inside it that match with the Tiffany scent. It's actually it's delicious. Name. It's Well, it's got the mandarin inside. Yeah. It's, it's delicious. It's got champagne. Oh yeah, and it's got 23 karat gold on the top. Very nice. <laughs> it's really nice though. It's a bit like mulled winey because mm. of the orange and the bit of, bit of cinnamon. Mm. Right, we probably better get home, aren't we? We've got lots to do and we're going to order takeout. And you need to pack as well. And I need to pack for Paris. Okay, it's Monday morning. I am packing up my suitcase. I'm trying to be somewhat quiet because Alex is still asleep. I'm off to Paris today with Dior for their like annual Christmas dinner and this year it's been held in Paris, which is very, very dreamy. And so we're going for one night, it's me and Amelia. We have this big suitcase, but the majority of it is filled with a big Dior dress. So I feel I have an excuse. I'm back in this outfit again because I really, really love it. And I haven't taken a picture of it yet. So I'm gonna wear it again. Yeah, really excited to be back in Paris. Made it to Paris and we're staying at Le Maurice, which is one of my favorite prison hotels. Just checked into the room. The weather is grim. It looks like it's about 7 p.m. It's only three. It's so dark and dismal. Oh, it's nice in here though. Definitely having a bath. <laughs> Definitely having a bath later. So I'm just gonna quickly spruce up my makeup because me and Amelia wanna go to the Dior store and have a little. <laughs> 
a little nosy around because it looks beautiful there at the moment with the big Christmas tree lights outside. So we're gonna go have a little look. Quickly do that, we've not got very long, but what a beautiful little room. Gorgeous. We found the Dior store and it's so pretty. I've seen this all over my Instagram feed. I'm so glad we got to see it. And of course, I want to go shopping too. And my Amelia, look at you, cheers. Oh, hi. <laughs> I'm literally like, looking at all the angles. I know, all, all, the, the all the options for this picture. Okay, me and Amelia have made it to the Dior store and I've made fallen it. in love with this belt. How beautiful. And this jumper is just exquisite. We just want to buy everything. Put my glasses on. I'm serious. So you can see everything. This is serious shopping now, babe. Serious shopping to do. These are beautiful. And these are so me. Do I need any more black boots? Probably not. Amelia's found something. What have you found? Oh my gosh. Look at those. It's like a work of art. Wow. It's literally art. Look at them. It's like Kira Kira without the Kira Kira art. <laughs> Yeah, they're the, they're the most comfortable. Have you not got a pair of these? Babe, you definitely but should have a pair of these. No, honestly, I could wear them forever. I've brought my black ones with me for tonight. Oh, look at these. Love them. We found the jewelry collections. Everything is beautiful. I really love this at the moment. I'm excited to see this. Oh. Yeah, they really suit you. Yeah, they're really nice. Oh, I love that. Yeah, they look great on you. Okay, just got back to the room. I'm gonna quickly show you the boxes. Oh, that is so special. I'm gonna have to keep this box because it's so special. So I got myself a pair of earrings that I've been looking at on the website and they're super pretty and they're very me and it's just this earring for one ear and then for the other ear is a star. I thought they were really me and I've been looking at them for ages so I treated myself. Now what do we have here? <laughs> okay so Christian Dior Paris and this is one of the Parfum bags so let's see. Oh wow. This is my favourite Amber Nui and I also love the Oud Rose Gypsy, never tried this one. They look beautiful. In fact, there's lots in here I've never seen before. Maybe these are brand, some brand new scents. What's in here? What? Dior brushes, some of the backstage brushes. The lip plumper, the kabuki brush. We also have the eye palette, glow face palette and the contour palette. I've brought a couple of these with me already, so that is amazing. So for a little bit more context as to why we're here, we're here for the Dior Christmas dinner and this year it's being held in Paddy. So Dior brought me and Amelia along, which is just amazing. Oh, oh my gosh, I just realised they've left us lots of the um, How Do You Life. Yeah, so the Christmas dinner is being held in Paris because me and Amelia came on some of the first Dior trips that ever were. It's just wonderful that we're still, we can still work with Dior and come on these amazing trips. We feel extremely lucky. I better start getting ready because a hairdresser is coming over very, very soon. So I'll get myself ready now. Right, I'm about to get ready. I've just had my hair done, although I've just had to clip up. I've got like bits hanging down. I've just had to clip them up. I've just taken off this half of my makeup you know when your skin just feels a little bit lacklustre? So I wanted to change that up a little bit. And I'm gonna also, I'm gonna, just, oh, I'm gonna put a touch of the Dior Face and Body Foundation on. I think this is in shade 2W, which is quite, yeah, it's really quite dark for me right now. But <laughs> annoyingly, I haven't brought my lower shades. I've just gone for this one, which is so silly of me. So I'm just going to try and make it work and mix it with some concealers that are a little bit lighter. But I just want something really dewy and lightweight all over the skin. I just want to look a bit more glowy. I just didn't feel very glowy. That's what I thought I'd do. A new coat of foundation. <laughs> In fact, why am I using this? I use my new Dior brush. What is this? Dior number 12. The Dior Christmas meal every year is always so beautiful. Quite special to come to Paris this time. And just me and Amelia. So, so nice. It's amazing to be here. I'm just putting on my, my favourite Lumine concealer. Cover that spot a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna go with a damp sponge, I think. Oh, by the way, these are my new earrings on. How nice is that? 
so happy I was able to find them. So we're only here for a very short amount of time as well before we head back tomorrow. Going home tomorrow about 10 a.m. So it's literally just an overnight trip for a beautiful meal. So quite amazing to be here. Okay, I'm gonna make a start on my eyes. I'm using the bronzer. Mineral Nude Bronze 04. Usually one of my everyday's everyday products that I use just to map out my crease. Look at my dress, I do want something that's a little bit smokier. But I'm going to use this palette, it's one of my faves, 857 Ruby. Because the colours in this are so perfect for like Christmas. Christmassy looks. I might go for something like this cranberry all over maybe. Mix with maybe a bit of the pink. I might go a little bit pink here to start off a bit of shimmer. And then I'm going to build up a little bit of the cranberry. Almost in a bit of a line this. So that pink, cranberry, then I'll go in bronze at the end. So I'm going to do cranberry on the middle of the lid. So I'm blending it over the pink. Yeah, and then outer corner, just sort of blending that out into a bigger wing. And blending the three sort of together. It's starting to look how I want it to. Yeah, that is looking really cute. I like that. Okay, I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready, but I just realised I was looking in the mirror and I was like, I don't look I've got much. I mean, I've got like a little bit of a dewy highlight on, but I'm going to put on Dior Nude Air Luminizer in 01, which is one of my all time favourite highlighters. I just want to kind of have it here so it catches the light. Whew. Right, okay, so I think makeup's done. I love how the eyes came out. They look really cute actually. It's a bit more smoky, like that. Yeah, so that was all with this palette, which is what? Yeah, 857 Ruby. Yeah, so I think I'm ready to go. Okay, just realised I'm not on perfume. I was thinking of going for Joy, but seeing as I have these, I might quickly try some of these ones I haven't tried before. I mean, Amber Nuit is my absolute favourite, usually. If you like Amber, you will love that. Let's try Oud again. Oh, Ballad Sauvage. Oh wow, that is so nice and like fresh. The Cachambre. Oh, just got it on the end of my nose. Gris. Dior. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> oh, Rose Gypsy's nice. Okay, I really, really like that. I'm going to put that on. That's quite me for this evening. Oh, it's really pretty. It's really pretty. It's like really light rose. Deep undertone. Oh, okay, it's a lot. Deep undertones to it. I know you're not meant to break your perfume, but this is the easiest way to put it on. <laughs> okay, right, now I'm ready. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Look how gorgeous this is, it's so magic. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful with all these trees. This is probably one of my favorite areas in Paris, actually. This square. This Paris is so pretty. I've taken many a picture here. <laughs> here she goes, doing her thing. Oh, swish, work it. Look how cute! I don't know what's inside here. I don't know what opened this. <laughs> so this is at Maison Dior, Christian Dior apartment. This looks delicious. Tiny piece of bread. Wonderful soup. What on earth is that? This one looks like coconut. Oh my god. So we're just having a little look at the maze on the Christian Dior where we have all of these delicious treats. So there are now 22 different scents of this. I mean, just look how beautiful this perfume is though. The bottles are just so like exquisite and beautiful and have all of the candles i mean i need this this is so extra i love it <laughs> but they've also brought out soaps they've got the candles they've got the body creams and these i absolutely need this liquid hand soap for my bathroom that is just so amazing this one Rose Kabuki might be a new favourite. It's like really fresh, feminine rose. Look at this, like aesthetic goals as well. And the packaging. And it's so chic, everything's so chic. 
Okay, back in my hotel room. So snug, I can't wait to get into bed. But I wanted to quickly have a look at these beautiful boxes that we got given at the table that had our illustrations on them. So inside of here are a number of the pieces that are kind of available from Maison Christian Dior. Okay, it's kind of like the idea is, it's kind of like lifestyle around Dior. That's what Maison Christian Dior is about. So you've got the fragrances, you've got the hand soaps, the body creams, the, the candles, the soaps. It kind of creates this like, lifestyle around it, the kind of things that you'd have in your home and your bathroom so they have so kindly gifted us these absolutely amazing treats so i've got a large dior and more fragrance the jasmine liquid hand soap that i'm so excited about the body cream from sakura which is such a beautiful fragrance and then this candle is oh wow Feb Delicia. Oh, this smells absolutely amazing. Potentially might be in my new favourite candle. That is so, like, subtly sweet. Okay, Alex cannot use this. This is mine. Good morning from Paris. It's nice and bright and early. About to head down now for some breakfast. I only went to bed pretty late, trying to get a few things together and video sorted and everything edited. So if I'm looking a little bit sleepy, that is why. I've just got extra concealer on. But we had such an amazing night last night with Dior. I feel extremely lucky to be here and that I got the chance to come along for that really special occasion. Huge thank you again to Dior for having me. This has been so dreamy. We have to make it back to London now, so heading down for some breakfast. Back to London and uh, on with the day. Okay, back home and already ready to get out and about again. First of all, I'm going to get my lashes done. I'm going to get my lashes LBL, so I've just taken off my face makeup. What's going on with my brows? Oh, they're just super fluffy. Um, I'm going to go get my LBL done and then I'm going to a Red Ken event. And before that, I'm going back to Larry King's to get my hair cut and blow dried for the event. So, it's non-stop right now, non-stop. I'm all finished up. Deb has done an incredible job once again. Look how beautiful they are. <laughs> and again, like I did last time, I will leave Deb's details down below for her Instagram. So if you are looking for someone who is amazing at LVL or if you want some SVS extensions doing, um, or Russians. Russian volume, uh, classic. Deb is the lady for you. I'll leave all the details down below. But aren't they great? Look how cute! So cute! Look how bouncy my hair is. <gasps> it's so cute! I love it! Yes! My hair is all done! Okay, so it's really blue because I'm right in front of the Claridge's Christmas tree. Isn't it cute? I love it. So Bobby cut it for me at Larry King. Anyway, now I am at the Red Ken event. Red Ken and Larry King event. This is why I am currently so blue. <laughs> Look how pretty this is. So we're about now to go over to Park Chinua, apparently, which is like a cool Chinese restaurant. I'm actually really, really hungry now. Well, we had a very, very nice ride <laughs> to the restaurant. This was extremely roomy. And now we're at Park Chinua. <laughs> Should have took the veggie option. <laughs> I got the black card option and Larry is now extremely upset. Very, very jealous. <laughs> Having a whole feast. This is so nice. <laughs> Okay, back with Alex, who has no top on as always. Really gorgeous night with Red Ken tonight. It was just an event that they wanted to throw for some of their girls that always go to Larry's salon and who love Red Ken. So we've got a few work bits to do, but tomorrow we're going on another trip in the morning, so I need to pack. So I've just been kind of tidying whilst I'm thinking about packing. Thank you so much for watching the vlog, guys. If you're brand new, I'll leave this subscription link just down below, or it's on the screen now and um, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you all soon. Bye!